He wraps it with a rope. And drags a few rocks on top to squeeze out every last drop of juice. They leave the fruits like this overnight. Machines would speed up this process, but it's not an option for this family. Plus, Santosh says handmade fenny tastes better. They throw away the fruit waste or give it to farmers to use as cattle feed. Bucket by bucket, they filter out any pulp fibers through a cloth. Then the juice sits to ferment for two or three days. They transfer it into a copper drum. Meanwhile, Drupati prepares to seal the drum by dousing a piece of cloth in mud. The mud comes from nearby ant hills. The ants and snakes that live in these mounds refine the soil, which makes it better for sealing the tanks. <laughs> Drupati wraps the clay-covered cloth around the openings to ensure no air escapes. She lights a fire to heat the juice using...